it was just funny when I was working at Chipotle because I worked at Chipotle the year after I graduated high school. So everyone that was in high school with me that thought like I was going to go and become like this big rapper was like coming in from because I didn't go to college. So like everyone that went to college and come, came back in town for Christmas break, that yeah. was like the Chipotle we all went to. And I worked there. So like they would all come back from Christmas break and they'd be like, damn, man, what happened, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, I thought you were supposed to be. OK, cool. Yeah, a little yeah. early, little early. So I used to just be in there like, oh, I used to, man, I used to hate Christmas break, man. I used to be in there like, wow. oh. hi, Amanda, what you want? <laughs> oh, my. Yes, I'm still rapping. I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going to make it. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> That's and then so crazy. I traded the manager of Chipotle my off day, or an off day heard about this. for Jay-Z tickets. And that moment... Mm -hmm. That was everything because that off day she gave me and those JC tickets that she took. They really wanted to go bad, I can imagine. They, so she took my Jay-Z tickets and she gave me an off day. And on that off day, I spent half my rent money to go to a seminar where there was like promised to be like label executives and all that stuff like that. So I spent my half of the rent when me and Slim were living together. And I went there and I met who ended up becoming my manager, which is Ashley, even though right. at the time I thought she was like a label executive and shit, but really she was just working the event as an intern. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> but like I saw like, you know, I was like, you know, I saw like a blonde white girl. I, I was like, oh, dude, music industry, right? There. Music industry, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, long story short, she ended up, uh, she was about to graduate college with an accountant degree and for some reason she quit it Yeah. and uh, rocked with me and now we're all good. It's crazy. I lived in Cleveland uh, last year and oh, the radio. Cool. It was really, really cool. And we got a chance to do some great stuff and play his music on the radio out there. But I got a chance to see and live in Cleveland yep. and to see what he experienced. You, you went to Shaker Heights? Yeah, I went to Shaker. I lived in like Beachwood. It was Tight. like right down the street. And yep. it was um, to see Cleveland and, and to understand that city and uh, to help me understand him even more. And he, you really ride for your town. Yeah. Like, I, I get it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, do you think the Cavs can do it again this year? Yeah, totally. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead. I want to finish out the winning streak and get a number one with bad things and Word bring up. that W Word back. Word up. That, that's and it. And then I want to win a Grammy and bring that back. That, yeah, that's important. But it's pretty cool right now. Like, at the stage I'm at right now, like, 60-year-olds are still, like, buying me drinks at the bar. Like, it's pretty very, cool. Very, very cool stuff. Right? Like, super cool clean shit. Cool They're stuff. like, oh, man, no, you'll, no way, dude. You're not paying for a drink. Like, you're it's a very, local very hero. Cool. It's cool. Very cool.